You guys coming back for the football press now? Tommy Tuck. Did he uh, coach at Auburn? Yep. Okay. And they went to Buffalo now? Not in my south, man. I'm a Georgia fan. That's true. So you guys got it going real quick today, especially you. You made five three pointers in the first half. What's the <coughs> plan he's doing at this point? Uh, right now, we're we just trying to get ready for the. Uh, the big games like the Marshall game, we're just trying to get everything in order, get the offense flowing, make sure everybody knows they're supposed to be at, and just play hard. Did you feel you did that, that you did that today? Oh, uh, we, we feel like we, we took a step. We still got to take another step and keep keep the uh, momentum going to the next game. Fish. Sean, you said after that last game you guys needed to work on half court offense. What did you think about how it was today? Um, it was decent, but it can always get better. I mean. We're still um, finding like little ways to like score easy baskets with like back doors and everything, and that's something that we got to continue to keep progress and all. But I mean, today was a little better than last the last week. Cash, you, you finished six or seven from three point. Uh, what happened on the miss? But <laughs> 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 well, you're seriously, you're, you're you're feeling. I mean, this year you're hitting forty six percent from three. Do you feel like your stroke is better? No, I think I think honestly it's the same. It's just like right now, coach 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 just get like giving me the green light to shoot. Like it's like if you feel like you open, take the shot. Like and then my teammates are telling me if I'm open, take the shot. Like this we this we work for the whole summer. So don't get in the game right now and tense up and don't shoot it. Is that what happened on that uh, that one long three? Because you you went to shoot and pulled it back and then shot it again. Uh. At the same time, you know, as a point guard, I'm trying to like walk a thin line between like shooting the ball and not shooting so much, and like still getting everybody else involved. So it's still like an ongoing like progression for me, I'm trying to trying to work my way to get get into the best of that. Are you getting anxious to play other teams now? I mean, you played three good teams, but then these last two, I mean, you got to be just thinking, when are we going to get going for real? Keep it going, right? Yeah, because I mean, you wear. I mean, it gets. It's mind-boggling, like when you like, for example, when you play like, not like the big teams, and then on top of that, it's like everyone on this like, on this staff is so ready for everything to like happen with the big teams and get ready to um, play like with conference play. Like that's that's when we that's what we're gonna be playing against every night, like the huge teams. So it it'd be good once um, next week coming we play more. Is it hard to gauge how much or how you guys are improving when you hold the team to like 15% shooting in the first half because they're not the quality of the team you're going to face in the Big East? Is it hard to gauge your progression? Uh, kind of. I mean, but we always look at it like, you know what? Like, for example, I'm not even quite happy with this win today. I mean, we won, but I think that we can honestly do 10 times better than what we're doing. Especially like with rebounding and um, more deflections. Like today, we didn't have that many deflections like we had last game. We had like 70 last game. We ended up with like 35, 36. So, I mean, that goes along with like the legs and everything. But we still got to continue to keep playing hard. How do you get uh, motivated to play these games? Does Mick have little tricks to get you going? Does he make goals for you? How, how do you go out and play with it? Okay, okay. Coach Cronin believes in the fact of doesn't matter who you play. Everybody can beat you, and that's how he take. That's how he approach practice. That's how he approach walk through. So we had walk through like we were playing Syracuse today. He was yelling. And he was telling us that we didn't play well. They would beat us. You know, a team that that hasn't won a game yet, they has nothing to lose. So they coming out here ready to play. I'm wrapping it up. Let's go. <laughs> 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 <laughs>